Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we find a frauditor who fancies himself a YouTube law expert. That's right, another one of those. And the officer isn't having it, so he ends up with his friend getting a ticket. Oh my, I don't know what any of you would do in that situation, but I know what I would do. He would find himself walking home. And I have done that before myself, only the guy I dropped off in the middle of a parking lot after he threatened me. So, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Good. Good. Why are you wearing your seatbelt? It doesn't fit. You can't be driving then. Well, pretty, pretty common sense there. It doesn't fit. Okay, do you have your lace wrist wrist? Sure. Yep. Just because it doesn't fit doesn't give you the, the mm. privilege to drive. I should get a seatbelt extender for it, honestly. They make those at uh, Walmart. Who you got with you, sir? Uh, Corey Firestone. Corey, you got an idea, eh, sir? I do not. Could mm -hmm. I ask you uh, why why you're pulling us over today? Did you use for a seatbelt? Did you weren't you listening? Could I ask you where the victim is in this? Oh boy, it sounds like this guy graduated the Chile de Castro Law School. Whatever shall this cop do? Officer, why did you pull this guy over? Now you're going to have to face down a YouTube law expert. I'm not even going to get on with this, okay? All right. I, I was just, gonna, I was just wondering. You want to come to the post, we'll have this conversation all, long, all day long. <laughs> Thank and you'll you. Lose all day. Thank all right. you, officer. Well, no, it, I, I just don't understand. Mm -hmm. I just got a speeder seatbelt ticket because you're being a dick. Well, it is what it is. <clears throat> well, you can say it is what it is. When you're sticking your thumb out, trying to hit your ride to your destination. That's exactly what I'd do. I'd leave you on the side of the damn road. This, even this five or ten minutes well, right here, coming back right it, you know, it, it senseless. Hey, Corey, what, you, what is your pastor's name again? Corey Firestone. Corey Firestone? Mm-hmm. Okay, just so I can jot down my, uh, daily, who I spoke to and okay. what? what? The reason I have issues with law enforcement like that is because, like, the issues that I had with Santa Lake County when they want to put someone in protective custody, and nothing against this individual officer, but this right here, when they pulled you over, and the presumption that you might get in an accident or whatever, but it gave them an excuse, quote unquote, probable cause to pull you over, but there was no, there was, that was um, unwarranted, that right there. They, they're literally searching and seizing your identification and running your name without a warrant. It, they're, he's breaking the law is what he's doing. He's not upholding the Constitution. He's breaking his oath. That's that's where I have. There's no justice in that. There's no honor in that. It, it's sick is what that is. Dude, you do know that seizure means that you take something and you keep it. He is not going to keep the license, you moron. He's just going to give it right back after he's got the information he needs. It's some, you know, a reason to do something. A power trip, in other words. What the hell is this guy doing behind him? You know. Why is there a car parked in the middle of the road behind him? Mm -hmm. Probably because I said I'm not giving him my... I, no, it was Buick. I don't know what the hell they're doing. Oh, it's a mailman. I blocked the mailbox. You can't get to it. I'd have given him my name if you'd have asked, but he didn't give me a reason to. I should have asked him, what, could I see your ID? Yeah, I'm getting a seatbelt ticket. I'll cover it. I'll pay it for you. I know if I were in that position, I would do the exact same thing that I've done with other people. They would never get another ride out of me ever again. Just out meeting their quota. That's all. That's all it is. It's Labor Day weekend meeting their quota. It? It, it was a reason to pull you over, mm -hmm. and there was no crime committed. There was no victim involved. There, you know what I'm saying? He had no justification. There was no misdemeanor committed or felony committed in this. He could have said, sir... Hey, could you just throw your seatbelt on? Have a good day. Right, you exactly. know, that that simple. 
to ask you for your ID for no reason. No, no, he had zero cause to ask you for your identification or registration or my name for that matter. I don't have anything to hide. I'm just saying it's a waste of time. Like, you know. <laughs> what you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. God have mercy on your soul. I'm gonna, and you know what? I'm going to actually talk to Pastor Wayne about this because he actually has contacts in this uh, county. And a, one of the things we actually just spoke about was how um, backwards this county is. To say the least. It's an excuse to pull you over. That's it. Mm -hmm. You know? And to write a ticket. No? Mm -hmm. Policing for profit. Yep. Oh, so, so YouTube, we uh, got pulled over here on uh, M19, this is north, right? Yeah, north. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know whatever this officer's name is, but there was no probable cause for him to pull us over in the first place due to my other half not having his seatbelt on. Um, other than that, there was no rhyme or reason. Um, he actually had asked me for my name, um, and I said, well, uh, where was the victim uh, in this heinous crime, sir? And he said I could go down to the department or the uh, station and chat with him about that. But, um, you know, it, this is also Santa Lake County, the same county I got picked up and put in protective custody for. Um, also a term that derived from uh, Nazi Germany when Adolf Hitler happened to be in power. Oh my goodness, you just invoked Godwin's Law, which is basically the longer an argument goes on, the more likely it is for Adolf Hitler to be invoked. You whine and cry about oppression and Nazism in this country, and yet you don't have the faintest idea what it is. Go ask somebody who lived in that time and place, and you'll see how much different it is. Um, welcome to uh, modern day Germany. I am going to upload this to my YouTube page. Hey, Corey, let me explain, okay, sir? What I have to do is per state legislation who uh, bites the law. You want my ticket? No, i got to explain it for me for, so I don't get in trouble, okay? Just three to 14 well, days, contact the court, okay, sir? For what? For the seatbelt, okay? Mm -hmm. Better friend, dude. Guy just got your ticket due to his smart ass mouth. Said it before, say it again. If he had treated me like that and got me a ticket, I'd have left him on the side of the road. And I can guarantee you, after the first time, they will never do that to you again.